Okay. Send us a little message here. Here. Investigate. Let's go. You have an interstellar message. Please check it promptly. Mm. Feel. Okay. What's that, Pom Pom? Uh, just got a message from the Xian Zhou La Fu. Looks like it'll conflict with our original schedule. It's been a while, my friends on the Astral Express. How's your trailblazing expedition going? That's going fine. Soon, the Sienjo Law Fu will be holding the Luminary War Dance. Those who have aided the Law Fu in overcoming the crisis are cherished allies of the Sienjo. Thus, oh, are we going for a celebration? Or is this going to be a fun trailblazing mission for once? I'm extending the ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. I can barely believe that we're gonna have some fun. Well, things are getting lively. We've barely recovered from the family's Charmony Festival, and we're already being invited to another special event. Oh wait, our last festival was a disaster. <laughs> I'm still recovering from the trauma caused by our last festival. I forgot. Yeah, we just too. had a festival, and it was good. But wait, won't it look unprofessional if we attend two ceremonies in a row? Aren't we supposed to be focused on restoring astral charts and doing some serious scientific exploration? So we should leave March behind to take care of the express? It was a fun uh, experience! Hey, that's not what I meant. Nothing traumatizing fun. happened! I just hope there won't be any surprise party crashers like Friday or Saturday. <laughs> The Sienjo Lawfu has recently overcome a crisis by holding the war dance there, demonstrating to everyone <laughs> that they was really to funny a state of peace and safety. But that's what everyone said before we went to Pentaconi. You'll be totally safe under the family's protection. To be fair, March has no a point need there. To worry. The war dance is not like the Charmony Festival with all its hidden secrets. It's just a festival to honor the Rainbow Arbiter and the Cloud Knights, who fought against the Abominations of Abundance and protected the Xianzhou ships. What could possibly go wrong? Aside who from knows? star skip performances, it's mostly martial contests. Nothing too different from the Taikian Roboball contest we've seen before. What do you I think, did? Himiko? I did see Since before? we've accepted Miss Black Swan's proposal, we should probably head to Amphorius for refueling. There's certainly no rush. This trailblazing expedition is quite unique, and the Express needs to be fully stocked and prepared before moving on to the next stop. With Madame Herta's help, they're just talking about it. Like, give them, give them a second to just Kaelin let them Rose talk about this. Ron May, member eighty-one of the Genius Society, it could earn us some favors before we set off. However, it may take a few weeks. Ah, so that means. We're not going to the Lafu. Being an adult means maintaining relationships, whether we like it or not, March. Since we've been invited, it's only right for the Astral Express to attend the ceremony. So here's the plan Pom Pom will take everyone to the Sienjo Lafu. Mr. Yang and I will meet up with Ron May and fulfill our promise. Meanwhile, you, March, and Don Hung will represent the Express. And it's yeah, only just. Minutes. What do you no a doll representation with us. That what could go wrong? <laughs> I want to play with Leviathan fossils. Uh, Himeko and Mr. Yang will be busy with serious research. Besides, fossils can't compete with martial contests when it comes to fun, right? March, I'm traumatized yes, by the word you're fun. The only one with so many friends on the law food. I had enough I'll fun. Be lost if you don't come along. You've got to lead the way. Now that everyone's on board with the plan, it's time to warp to the Sienjo La Fu. Okay, sure. Do you have anything Kalinda to say? Kalinda Abyss. What does she expect to find there? Current research Hi, on the Hiko. Leviathan proves how little we how know are about you such doing? life forms. That's why geniuses are interested in that field. Science is all about uncovering the unknown. Sometimes you should just let the unknown sleep. 
Oh, the conversation between the two adults brings this complex doc icon. Okay. Co come back soon. Don't miss us too much. <laughs> if I stumble upon some cool Leviathan fossils, I'll bring a few back as souvenirs for you. I appreciate it, Himiko. Thank you. Been studying the entire day. Oh no, I hope your coding turned out good. And not full of bugs. Himiko really knows how to convince people. <laughs> Between Leviathan fossils and the war dance, the latter definitely sounds more fun. Um. Uh, by the way, Don Hung, this time you'll be taking a stroll with us on the Lafu, right? Oh yeah, is he not banned anymore? <laughs> Just let you two wander around aimlessly on the Lofu by yourselves? <laughs> I don't think so. Plus, Mr. Yang is right. The Ambrosial Arbor crisis just ended. And both the long life and short life species are still feeling uneasy. And that's why Jing Yuan wants to organize the war dance. To show that the Xianzhou Lofu is stable and safe. And uh, since he has he should have not invited us if he wants it to be stable right and safe. Because my old our track record at this time, I I wouldn't say it's cream stable yeah. and safe. Coming back to this place brings back so many memories, you know. Oh yeah, he, he does. He does. Sorry, that that was more like a he, he like oh yeah he got unbanned, not like oh did he get unbanned? Sorry, I I voiced that wrong. <laughs> What memories? Um, uh, yeah. What memories? Well, it's nothing too poetic. I was just thinking about all the twists and turns we went through when we first arrived at the Cienjo ship. This time, we're not being forced or enticed or chasing after wanted criminals. Yes. And we didn't have to sneak in through Yet. the cargo dock. This trip has been incredibly smooth. Quite unusual, I must say. Do, listen, March just jinxers. March just jinxers for us all. Yeah, come on, don't jinx us. <laughs> I'm just hoping for the best. You're the one jinxing us. I didn't say everything's too smooth. I didn't jinx shit here. As long as Kaifer and Commissions noticed that the Express has docked onto the Xiansu. Are you guys on the low few already? Let's go to the Starskip's Haven. <laughs> the general sent me to welcome y'all at the Starskip's Haven. See you in a bit. Is the Starskip Haven always this crowded? Oh, there's, there, there's a so festival about here. to be done, March. Okay, you when know, just just to Jingyuan have a fitting character here. Us. But where is he? Let's wait for him. Sorry, hey, Don Hong. Guys, hold on a moment. Uh, did they just call us? Oh, look at their outfits. They're from Penacony, right? Are you familiar with the Sienjo Lafu? No. <laughs> we know a little bit about it. What do you need? <laughs> the answer is no. Penacony. Maybe you've heard of it. We came to this ship to gather interesting materials for making dream bubbles. Look, well, we this ca there. this this account well, is I need all the husbandos accounts. So That's just, great. Do you it's okay. I don't I don't have them built. I just like the pretty characters. So don't don't feel it's okay. It's okay. Don't feel bad about those. And I'm playing this ever since it came out, like over a year ago. So please, please, don't worry about those. Why don't you? Have, yeah, ask the locals. We did, but the locals were all like, "Come on, there's nothing worth seeing on the Lafu. It's so boring here." Then trust uh, them. Can't blame them. If someone asked me what's there to see on Penacony, I'd probably struggle to answer too. That's why we're asking fellow tourists. Hmm. Uh, most of the tourists around at the moment are here to attend the war dance, and that's why we're here too. Yeah. We yeah, are also too. We know about that ceremony, but isn't the fighting ring still closed? I just I arrived. I don't know. Was actually converted from a huge decommissioned Lafu fighter jet. So it's even bigger than the Radiant Felt. I don't even know what that Radiant is. Radiant Feldspar is bigger, I guess. But for now, 
All we can do is wait until the war dance starts in a few weeks before we can Weeks? We still got Wait, why, why did I come so, so early? Around waiting for it to start. That's why we're asking you about some must-see attractions. We're looking what for do you mean weeks? I thought we came like two days early or so. love these kinds of dream bubbles the most. Uh, you're the expert here. <laughs> Give them some suggestions. All I did was fighting and dying. That's all I did. Uh, they are not like that. That thing over there. That's not a cat. Don't don't be fooled. It's not a cat. It's a papashi. Uh, go to the garden. Oh, I yeah. guess. Six stroll garden. It's famous for supernatural stuff. I uh, I thought it's, it's uh, flowers, but floating around. Go, go ahead and have supernatural mischief. Supernatural. I don't really like scary things, but our clients will love it. Ooh, it does sound interesting. Let's go check out Fix Troll Garden. <gasps> Maybe we'll bump into each other there. Yeah. Uh, look, Yan Ching's here. Thank uh, God. Really? Let's go catch up with him. Please save me from here. Oh, you know what? I can make my team even. Where is my team? How do I? Oh god, I'm always confused. Team line up there. To make this even more fitting, I'm no blade. Blade should be in there. I don't need a healer. Bygones are there you bygones. Go. If I have a Venturin, I don't need a healer. Let's have the let's have the Shansu gang Everyone, all together. Okay, Duda. Bye bye, hey, Akihiko. It's been a while. Don't melt outside. Well, it doesn't feel like it's been that long since we last saw you. But Yen Ching. Oh, still you? in the background. Look at that. What's up, Miss March? Uh, they say kids grow up really fast. Uh, Yen Ching, <laughs> are you a little bit taller than before? It's actually chilly. Oh. <sighs> We've only been away for a few months. Yeah, March, please. Oh, I can paint his cheeks. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, but after our previous adventures, I've become suspicious of whoever greets us first. Uh, do you oh, I wanted to, be to do this because I wanted it to be too. cute. You know, uh, because of that. the last time we came to the Sienjo, the first person who greeted us was... Uh, I get it. Better safe than sorry. Seriously? Can't believe we talked. I've never seen the Lafu so lively before. I was a bit MC worried talking. about holding MC the talking. right after the Ambrosial Arbor crisis might be too soon. But seeing the bustling Starskiff Haven... I understand why General Jing Yuan chose this timing. Yep. There's people from other delves and travelers like you three who have come from afar. <laughs> With the war dance coming up, there's a huge number of visitors pouring into the Starskip Haven. The Cloud Knights are working hard to keep the security tight. The General said this ceremony would help the Sienjo Lafu recover from the crisis. It's a way to showcase our martial spirit. Reassure people, boost morale, and attract visitors from other planets to promote trade and peace. By the way, the Sienjo Alliance places great importance on this ceremony, too. The mm. Sienjo ships, the Zhu Ming, and the Yao Qing have both sent messengers to offer their blessings. I don't remember either yeah. of them. I wonder if you've heard of it. It's known as the Star Forge, and oh. it's responsible for providing more than half of the I know why I said I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> The Sienjo Juming boasts skilled craftsmasters. <laughs> he played the story for like Glenn a year ago. He's a top notch craftsman himself. Ah, if only I could get a sword forged by him, I'd be on Cloud Nine. Aww. By the way, Yenqing, where are we headed next? Ah, I'm sorry for talking your ear off. The general wants to catch up with you at the Palace of Astrum. Uh -huh. He's been eager to hear about how the Express has been doing. Oh, you know, uh, we went to another festival. Uh, it was a blast. 
but whenever literally a blast he's interested in you can really see his childish side he's adorable yes i agree very very adorable oh all units assemble quickly get ready to no. protect the crowd oh no. no. just mentioned security oh. now all of a sudden something's gone wrong excuse me I need to go check out the situation. It just says Jinx is March. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? That you are the issue this happens uh, now. We'll go with you. That's what that means. You are the sole reason. Oh. Oh. The civilians. I'll deal with him. Oh, I don't know if it's a mark. Oh, that's new. Can I can enter the moon rage started? One sec of I listen. I don't even know what any of that means. As if I know how to play this game, you know. I don't have. I have no ideas. This ends now. Trifling. Spend freely. Conflict is meaningless. The fight is set. Raging Yon is completely useless in this team, but also gone. All in. My my other characters can 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 handle us. Watch your head. World cleansing dragon. We'll see Don Hong. Don Hong is my carry. Always. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Here. This thunder! Well timed. <laughs> Rise! Goodbye. Oh. Not good. Oh, that's a new character you can pull for. Oh, damn. Jake looks really cute. If I wouldn't want to go for Bunny Boy, who's after her, uh, I would for pull for her. Uh, uh, sorry, no time to chat. Uh, could you give me back my? Uh. Um, are you okay? Wait, my sword. Listen, I might need to switch back. I'm sorry, Jing Yuan. I need Luosha after all. Yet Let's just get down to business. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we'll have to put our plans on hold for now. Oh, it's okay. I need to find out what's going on. Ignore the fact that I just dropped something. Can I interrupt with you guys? You look like your element would be. Oh. While we appreciate your rescue, my Sienjo friends, don't you think it's a bit too much to detain us and our cargo? Sorry, but we've been ordered to detain you and your cargo for inspection until we figure out the source of the attack. Once it was the two wolves. We'll let you and your cargo go. Weren't they like prisoners this or something? Isn't even meant for the Lafu, and it's IPC's patented technology. But who do you think you are to conduct an inspection? According to the protocol, all cargo arriving on the Lafu must go through inspection. Oh, but we didn't officially enter your dock at all. We just sought refuge in your dock because we were attacked by the Borisons. <sighs> Looks like this argument could go on forever. Let's not get involved in a heated dispute that won't lead to a resolution. <laughs> sure. I... Yes, perfect. I will ignore it. The press cry crane. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're a very pessimistic bird. Sure. Do I get something from you? Yeah, please just... Oh, I got something. I got a gift. That was a lie. I do not get a gift. That was me today after I called them. That's the mood. Who's in charge here? I need some answers. 
It's my fault. We let our guard down for a moment. I take full responsibility. With the war dance approaching, safety should be a top priority. Now, tell me, how did Boris and prisoners end up in Starskiff Haven? According to the protocol, Boris and prisoners should be held on a Starskiff and taken directly to the Shackling prison under strict supervision without ever touching the ground. Who allowed a prisoner I transport ship is fun at to parties. dock at the passenger terminal? Please don't blame this captain. This incident involves the Ju Ming's diplomatic vessel. Who are you? I'm Lu Jun, an officer of the patrol defense squad. Thank you for your help, Lieutenant Yen Ching. The situation unfolded rapidly and it shouldn't be held against the captain. Here's what happened. An IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borison just before arriving. And the Ju Ming's diplomatic vessel came to the rescue. Okay. They fought off the Borison pirates and imprisoned them on their ship. So, an IPC ship was attacked by the Borison near the Lafu, and the Ju Ming envoys saved them? Ah, uh, that sounds complicated. <laughs> Honestly, it gives me a headache, too. The Ju Ming diplomatic ship, adhering to standard procedure, docked at the passenger terminal to hand these criminals over to the Lafu. You know, with all the outsiders flooding onto the Lafu, the Starskiff lanes are under immense pressure. The Boris and Desperados decided to put up a fight before the prisoner transport Starskiff could get there. And that's what you just witnessed. Okay. We'll make sure these prisoners are sent to the Shackling prison as soon as possible. I... I see. I'm not sure if they're it's still alive. unusual situation indeed. They I'll didn't seem the like they are. I'll report of the Realm Keeping Commission and ask for their cooperation in handling the aftermath. <sighs> Maybe I should gather more details from others so that the Seed of Divine Foresight can have a better understanding of the situation. Well, I'd calm the crowd and dispersed the streets. Oh, you something, look something. Much mature now, Yanqing. Please don't tease March, me, this March. The fuck? It's been a few months. The situation months. on the Sienjo before the war dance is like a calm lake that can be disturbed by even the smallest pebble, capable of generating far-reaching ripples with even the slightest disturbance. What are those people? I mean, those monsters we just dealt with <laughs> they're kobolds yeah did you call them the borison i don't think they're kobolds yeah. they're a bit big for Those that. werewolf monsters are known as borison they are abominations of abundance and okay. we've been fighting them for a very long time the borison How did we never have meet been a powerful them before? force for a long time plundering and enslaving many worlds the threat they pose is just as terrible as the swarm disaster and the Alliance even had a fierce war with them three decades ago. Their presence has faded over the years. Mm -hmm. but who would have thought? Who would have thought? According to that officer, they attacked an IPC ship near the Senjo Lofu. Such a brazen attack seems quite unusual to me. Yeah, that's what I find strange too. Seems like the IPC and the Borison have some serious grudges. Well, enough with the chit chat. The general wants me to take you to the Palace of Astrum. I'd love to chit chat a little longer, but there are some things that can't be left unchecked. Hmm? Is it a serious matter? Maybe you'll need our help in hunting down the Borison? Thank you, but it's no big deal. Are you sure it's not a big right deal? Away, that young lady who just appeared, she took my sword. I'm thinking of filing a lost property report at the Realm Keeping Commission to see if I can get it back. <laughs> I doubt she did it on purpose. I what? Well, hmm. I hmm. <laughs> you go file a report, and I go catch the popcorn. Sure. It's when Cloud Knights get into trouble, they have to call the emergency services too. Somewhere. Shouldn't we take a look? All right. Let's not keep the general waiting. Don't worry. There aren't many people out there with that kind of talent. 
It shouldn't be too hard to find her. Unless she like takes a run for it and leaves the flyer out. I'm not sure what to think about that guy. There sure are a lot of troublemakers around. Uh, he he be sussy. He be a big sussy. Okay, where do we go? How do I open up the map? That's fine. Let me teleport <laughs> and so It's been a long journey, Elder Wyatt. Thank you for your presence. <laughs> Don't mention it. Thank you for taking the time to welcome me. Are you done? Okay. Hi! General, I brought our guests from the Express. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for my bad timing. I didn't know you were meeting a guest, General. Don't worry, you're just in time. <laughs> it's been a while, my friends from the Astral Express. Oh. True, true, he was not present there with, with Don Hong, was he? Did you miss us? Sure, how couldn't I have? It's not often we find such moments to reunite and enjoy one another's presence. There we have it, he missed that. Why, since when did she and General Ching Yuan become such good buddies, Don Hung? Ever since they I pulled for him. A great time. Don't question this relationship. <sighs> a lot must have happened without our knowledge. At least I hope that's the case. Allow me to introduce you to General Hua Yin. He's the Arbiter General of the Xianzhou Zhuming, known as the Flaming Heart. <laughs> no need to be so formal. I'm just a tourist here, no different from other tourists who've come to attend the ceremony. Elder Hua Yin is not only one of the Arbiter Generals, but also the Furnace Master of the Artisanship Commission. Besides his martial skills, he excels in forging various weapons. Such talents are unique, even among the Arbiter Generals. Be it Arbiter General or Furnace Master, these are merely titles given to me long ago. I've retired several times already, but with the current change in circumstances, the marshal has called me back to duty, and I had no choice but to answer the call. Well, I will be end, like, hey guys, I am in retirement. See you whenever. Naturally brings a There's a chest. Disapproval. There, there. It's it's an honor honor I never you, got that. It's my honor to meet you, General Huayan. I am just glad. It's not my honor that I meet you. I am just glad that I'm meeting you. No need to be all formal. Today, I'm just a guest on the lawful. Same as all of you. So, these three are the ones you mentioned, Jing Yuin? The heroes who helped you with the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis? Mayhaps? Indeed. There's Don oh, look, Kong, there's a girl with the, with the sword. And her. Without their help. I'm afraid the Law Fu might not have easily overcome this crisis. So, the Imbibator Lune's reincarnation has returned to the Law Fu and will attend the war dance. I'd love to have a drink with you, should the chance present itself. You're more than welcome, General Hua Yan. And this young friend is? Yan Ching. My apprentice. He remains by my side as my retainer due to his youth, which I hope will season him with experience. He will stand for the Law Fu's Cloud Knights in the upcoming war dance, ready to take on all kinds of challenges. Great, great! It's a real treat to see so many talented young people around here today. Oh, I almost forgot. This is my apprentice. Oh. Uh, it's you. 
If the poor oh, boy has sore it's you. <laughs> Hello. Oh. You two already know each other? Guess we They're don't need any introductions then. <laughs> and maybe someone what got something that belongs to the other person. I was afraid I'd have trouble finding this girl. Oh? Now you've piqued my curiosity. Tell me, how did you two become acquainted? Uh, you know. She helped me capture the escaped Borison prisoners at the Starskip Haven. Allow me to express my gratitude for you. But when you left, you took my flying sword with you. Your flying sword? <laughs> oh, so that's why I found a dagger in my bag. Turns out it's yours. Yes, it is. Now that we've met again, I hope... <laughs> no, that won't do. Won't it's hers! Ah, you want your sword back, right? Well, you can't just take it back. Oh I'm my assuming, god. When you lose your sword on the battlefield, you have to reclaim it. On he the technically battlefield. didn't lose it, you just took it. <laughs> As for this little sword, it was supposed to strike that escaped Boris in prisoner. But unfortunately, its owner's agitated state caused it to fly off like a kite with a broken string, and it missed its target. By the way, if I hadn't caught it and helped it hit its mark, that Borison prisoner would have gotten away. Hold on a second, Lee. You took my sword without even asking, and now you're refusing to give it back? <laughs> so much for Lafu Swordmasters. What did you just say? If you just stepped up and took your sword back from me fair and square, <laughs> I would have totally respected you. But nope, you tried to play it down, expecting me to just hand it back to you like it's nothing. In front of everyone. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I, I gotta have a quick break. Hopefully only like 10 minutes. I have to make a quick call. I'll be right back. I'll pause this here. Give me like 10 to 15 minutes. Hopefully, I will be right back. Hopefully. Sorry for that. We're back. We're back. We're back. So let's see what they're bickering about. Oh, wait. I need to. There we go. With all due respect, you don't honor your sword. So you don't deserve it. How do you know? God, you met him for like 10 seconds asking is stealing you want to settle this with I'm swords? on his side here Fine. sorry let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel right now Yang Ching. <laughs> that might be a bit too much <laughs> sweetheart well that's more like it just be careful because I'm not as easy to handle as the Borison uh, you too be quiet and apologize to Yang Ching. just give him a sword bar <laughs> hey Whose side are you on, Grandpa? I... um... I don't take sides. It's a small misunderstanding. And an apology would be too much. She's stole I've heard the about sword. the Zhuyun's incredible swordplay and craftsmanship. Most notably, the legendary flame wheel octet. Seeing Miss Yun Li, who is among those ranks today, well, I must say, she definitely has that fiery edge <laughs> such grandiose names some folks love to spin these fancy titles trying to set the cloud nights apart Yun Li is still just a young girl a bit awkward and hot-tempered so please forgive her if she's being rude well everyone Elder Huayan and I have some business to discuss for now, Yang Ching, why don't you entertain our guests and take Miss Yun Li to the inn? I'll find another chance to talk with you all. I'd like to express why my gratitude. Why is none of the, the adults just Express telling them? For helping the law food during the crisis. That's so kind of you. I mean, you've already thanked Why is none of them just times? telling the girl a gift of sorbet? Please forgive me for coming at an inconvenient time. You needn't apologize, General Huayan. All right, Yun Li. Take this opportunity to clear things up with Yen Ching. Yeah, yeah. It's better to make friends than enemies. 
but I won't be heading to the inn just yet. I want to visit Lingsha. She just arrived in the Lafu and could use some help settling in. Yang Ching, once you've helped our guests get settled, go to the Artisanship Commission for me. I've heard about the attack and the detainment of the IPC ship. Ching Zhu sent word that the IPC members are protesting and wish to have their cargo back. I mean, understandable, but... See if you can calm them down. Don't get aggressive. Just make it clear that the Sienjo Lafu has no intention of violating their rights. I'm on it. <laughs> 